Get him. Sick him. Hey, I'm Jay Howell of Kettle Bottom Outdoor Pursuits, and uh, we just caught a thresher shark. Uh, he basically still has the hook in his mouth, so we're going to do another rigging uh, for another bait. Uh, first, you want to cut a good section of wire off, at least, you know, five, maybe six feet long. You know, your average shark, if you get a bigger one, you know, maybe we should have longer, but six feet a foot will do. There's a curve to the line. You want to make sure you get on that curve to do the bend once you put the hook through. Just put your hook through. See the bend in that? You want to make sure you go back the other way and leave a lot of tag end here so we can do a haywire twist. So you want to come back over. Now you got this bent around the hook and then all you want to do basically now is you want to go ahead you want to leave a little bit of a, a length so it kind of moves around hook freely you don't want to get it really tight that way it's kind of doesn't move the hook too much so that first loop you can make a little bit big you want to kind of pinch the loop so you can twist the wire around it do one twist Once you do that twist, you kind of have it a little bit loose so you can put the hook around. You can move freely in the mouth once the shock is hooked. If it's too tight, then it's restricted. And then all you want to do is twist up. Make sure you twist nice and even. You can kind of use the hook eye as a little leverage. Once you start getting up further on your twist, you want to choke up on the twist. You want to make the twist closer together as you go up. And at the very end, we're going to put them really close together. See as they kind of go wider, and then as you go up, you get closer and closer. Now you get closer to the end here, you want to see I'm going to be twisting closer and closer. Doing a few more. Probably about good. See how they're nice and close and together. Now you want to get your pliers, you want to get it as close as possible. Really need wire snips, but it'll do it. And then you get a little piece right here. If you can, it's best to close that up as much as possible. Applies. It's not the easiest thing to do, but if you can bend it in at some point. It'll be totally closed, looped around. 
That way there's no friction if the line comes near it. So once you get the hook in like that, you wanna come back to the other end. You wanna do the same thing on the other end. See, there's a bend in there. You wanna go against the bend. Why is that? It just uh, makes the line a little bit straighter. If you went with the bend, you'd still see there's, always, there's gonna be a natural curve to this because it was wrapped up in a coil. So if you went this way, you'd stick with that coil. As you can see, if you go the other way, it'll kind of make it a little bit straight. So when you do the bend, now if you went the other way, you'd kind of be like this. I, I just like doing it the other way. It's good to do not only with this, but with mono also. Now the same thing here, you're basically gonna make a loop that's gonna attach to your snap swivel on your rod. Oop. I like to leave it pretty big. And you're gonna at least make that one twist. Once you get that one twist down, it's a little bit easier to hold this with your pliers. Before we use the hook as leverage, now you can use your pliers as leverage makes it a little easy. I'm getting closer, so I want to tighten up my coils. Hurt your fingers. This piano wire is all different pounds. I really don't know what this poundage is. It's definitely heavy gauge piano wire. Uh, you know, the heavier the better. But then again, sometimes you want to use light wire if you got a Mako or something. Because, you know, they can see the wire as well. But when you're dealing with, like, maybe blue sharks or something, it's not as important. If we get a thresher right away, usually we get blue sharks right away. So this could be a good area. A couple more. I think we're good. And then same thing with this. I'm gonna get it nice and close, as close as possible. There we go. <laughs> Same thing with this. I kind of just close this up. gonna give me a hard time. Somebody know where the sinker went that I had out? Yeah. You got your loop there. You pretty much finished. 